Hello, I am Nicholas here with Skills USA Radio. If you have a car, chances are you find yourself at the gas pump a couple times a month. Recently, we have all felt the pain of watching the price on the fuel meter get to record high numbers. Today, we will get consumers' perspectives on how fluctuating fuel prices influence their day-to-day -day lives, spending habits, and inflation. Hi, my name's Terrence. I work for the Wellstar Health System as a talent acquisition recruiter. My name is Michelle. I work at the American Culinary Federation as a director. Definitely makes me think twice in terms of when I'm taking trips on how much it's going to cost me. With regards to Trent driving places and things, not so much. I probably cut back a little bit on other items. These small increases over time made me forego some of the things I would normally buy. You just learned how consumers feel about shifting fuel prices and how they alter their daily routine their expenses, and inflation. After this quick break, you will get the chance to listen to how changes in fuel prices impact the cost of production and manufacturing from producers' perspectives. Have you ever pictured yourself sitting in a recording studio, producing music for pop stars, or perhaps being the head photographer for a Vogue cover shoot? Apply to the Academy for Media Production in McSherry's Town, PA. Here at AMP, we know how vital it is to have the necessary skills to work in your desired field. We offer programs in photography and DSLR video, with classes that teach you every to become a blockbuster movie director. We also offer programs in recording and sound technology. Make your dreams come true and visit www.amp-school.com for more information. For Skills USA Radio, I am Nicholas. Before the break, we learned about how changes in the prices of fuel affect the spending habits, inflation costs, and day-to-day -day lives of consumers. Now, we will get insider's perspective on how the rising prices of fuel are determining the cost of production and manufacturing of many producers. My name is Jerry. I'm the National Director for High School Development at Universal Technical Institute. My name is Emily, and I work for Volvo Construction Equipment and Marketing. We use oil to operate our machinery, to keep our campuses open, and to heat our homes. Of course, as fuel prices go up, it does cost us more to produce these machines. That's why we are headed towards that more fossil-free steel that will hopefully overall decrease our cost of production. Something goes up a dime, you know, you can absorb it. But when something goes up one or two dollars a gallon, there's no choice but to pass it on to consumers. I hope that this has given you a better understanding and insight into how fuel prices impact not only inflation, but our daily lives from the producers into the consumers. This is Nicholas with Skills USA Radio, signing off. Uh. I can't focus at all with everyone talking. I guess I have to put my headphones on. Now that's a lot better. I can finally listen to some music. Direct Sound has been producing the highest quality headphones for over 20 years now. We understand the importance of noise isolation, comfort, durability, and audio grade that is critical to a perfect pair of headphones. From listening enjoyment to mixing audio, Direct Sound headphones don't even compare. Listen to what a professional has to say about them. Hi, my name is Paul Caccarini. I'm a recording engineer and record producer. I've been using Direct Sounds for about nine years. I like them because they have a relatively flat response curve. They have a modular design so that if something happens to the headphones, you call up Direct Sound and they'll send you the part instead of a new pair of headphones. So it's nice to not have to spend a hundred bucks every time something happens to the headphones. Direct Sound offers tons of different types, colors, and designs of headphones. So get your own pair of Direct Sound headphones today at www.directsound.com. ProAudio.com.